there are some comments on my previous uh, photography videos especially on my landscape photography videos on what type of ND filters I've used uh, how many stops of these ND filters I've used and what type of L bracket I use on my Canon 50 so I was thinking why not make a video on this and I will share to you guys what are these essential accessories that I've been using these are actually the budget ones for you out there wants to start in photography so stick around and I'll show you what are these essential accessories What's up guys welcome to my channel the Sams. if you are new to my channel my channel is all about photography i do landscape street photography i do tutorials as well and few cinematic videos so please consider subscribing and click notification bell icon so that you will be notified on my next video uploads okay uh, like i said there are some comments on my previous landscape photography on these accessories that i'm using during my shoot like uh, nd filters how many stops of nd filters uh cpl filters and this uh, l bracket that i'm using on my canon m50 so uh i will share to you guys in this video uh what are these uh accessories these are budget or the cheaper alternative ones uh this this is a uh, video is maybe aimed for be beginners and especially those who want to level up their uh, photography skills so uh, stick around and let's begin okay the first accessory that i will share with you guys which is very essential in landscape photography is the graduated nd filter i have this filter like almost seven years already i guess i bought this in one of the local shop here in ipo malaysia you can buy this online as well i will uh, share with you the link of this uh, filter this is the p series version the brand is cooking you can buy in set it, it has a uh, three nd filters along with the uh, nd filter holder actually this nd filter holder that i'm using now is different from the original because what i don't like with the original uh ND filter holder is you cannot screw in another uh, round filter at the front so I bought this uh, is a separate very cheap filter holder online as well I will also uh, give you the link in the description the good thing about this holder is uh, you can screw in another ND filter at the front let's say you have a 67mm filter you can uh, screw in at the front And you can you can put your ND filter at the as well. So this will give you very long exposure. The purpose of the by the way the purpose of the graduated ND filter is to balance out your exposure from your foreground versus your uh, background. Let's say you shooting for a landscape photo. Normally as a tip you need to expose properly on the foreground and the background or the clouds normally will get overexposed so the nd filter the graduated nd filter like three stop from the top it will balance out the exposure and you will have a good exposure all throughout your photo what i love about this cooking p series gnd filter is it's very small it's very minimalistic in design it's very well uh, suited or balance with the 11 to 22 wide angle lens for the canon m50 you can buy the bigger one as well if you like it's up to you so uh, i highly recommend this graduated nd filter guys this accessory in your landscape photography next essential accessory guys that is very essential in landscape photography are the nd filters uh what i i have here is six stop six stops and the 10 stops nd filter from ice this brand is not very common 
but it's very high quality and very good as well i've uh, read i've read a review online like few few years back about this one photographer he reviewed this uh, ice pen stop nd filter and he found it uh, very good the quality is nice very less uh, color cast and the uh, sharp sharpness is not compromised so i i bought it i tried it it's okay so I, that's why i've been using this for like three four years already so i will also show this the link in the description description below you can buy this online in amazon as well the purpose of these uh, six stops and ten stops nd filters is if you want to have a very dramatic landscape shots like very long exposures this is very essential so i highly recommend this as well okay another accessory that is very essential in landscape photography guys is filter as well is the cpl filter or the circular polarizer filter this is very useful especially if you're shooting in a uh, over overcast days or you're shooting in a river or a lake it will add contrast to your uh, scene in the body of water it will remove the reflection of the water if you want to see see through the it will be the fish or stones in the water this is very useful so i highly recommend these guys to buy and use this cpl fi filter i have this uh the brand is uh, C uh jgc i also bought this online all of these filters i will share to you the link in the descrip description guys i you can buy this online in amazon or uh, aliexpress as well the quality is just okay it's not that bad i read reviews before i bought this and that's why i tried and it's okay okay so i guess i already covered all the basic nd filters that i'm using in my photography so moving on on another accessory guys is the l bracket there are a few i think three four people asking me what type of l bracket i'm using this is the very simple one the very i think the cheapest one you can buy online uh, i bought this in lazada here in malaysia you can buy this in amazon or ebay as well i will uh, share again i will show you the link where to buy this there are three main reasons that why you should have this and install in your canon m50 body first is of course it will add better grip in your hand now you can hold the camera with your four fingers second is you no need to bring always the tripod mount in your camera which i always uh, sometimes forget in my shoot so with this l bracket you straight away mount this uh this camera on your tripod and the third one is when you're shooting vertical you no need to flip to the left or flip to the right of your tripod when you're shooting when you have your composition because it will straight away mount and it will have the same perspective or composition with your shot so uh this is the very simple l bracket guys and it's very essential in landscape photography okay moving on guys one very basic and essential in landscape photography is the tripod so i want to share with you what tripod that i'm using this is a, a carbon fiber tripod from photo pro photo pro x go i will also link in the description below this is very lightweight it's less than kilogram only like 2.2 pounds i believe it's very compact that's why that's why i emphasize you guys because if you're using canon m50 this is very small and lightweight body so to complete your light travel kit photography wise you should have a very light and compact tripod as well so i recommend this tripod it's very high quality i've been using this for like three years already and still very good don't for me don't buy aluminum tripod guys i highly recommend carbon fiber this is a carbon fiber tripod so 
you have this one very useful essential accessory for the canon 50 that i still don't have is the shutter remote release you guys if you have this if you know uh this brand of shutter release for canon 50 that can do uh shutter release timer and interval shooting shooting as well let me know in the comment section because i cannot find this remote shutter for canon m50 i know they have this uh one brand a uh, one type of shutter release i think it's the br-e1 it's okay i read reviews it can do it, it will work but it cannot do interval shooting just for shutter release only so i i didn't buy it i'm still looking for the shutter release that can do time lapse as well but i guess it cannot do with this camera i think it's not compatible that's why nobody is uh, making it okay one more very essential tool in landscape photography guys that i will share to you this is not a accessory but an app it's a cell phone app it's called the photo pills you can download this and install in i think in play store or online this is very useful guys if you're in landscape photography especially uh you're doing long exposure shot you can calculate the exposure how what is the exposure if you use nd filter like 10 stops nd filter and also if you should love to shoot astrophotography sunrise or sunset photography you will know where is the sun is rising on the horizon in this particular day it's very useful guys you download it you try it i will not uh, teach you on this video how to use it but i think there are very uh quite few tutorials in youtube that you can follow so this is very useful guys you should try it so i guess i covered all the essential accessories that i'm planning to share to you guys and i hope it helps a lot in your photography journey as well and it answers the questions in my photography videos but if you still have some questions about photography anything just feel free to comment in the comment section down below and hope you enjoyed this video guys please help to click the thumbs up button and please click subscribe as well if you haven't subscribed and until then, see you in my next video. Peace.